Hi everybody, thank you for joining me. I'm Phantom Joe of the Phantom Alert team. Today I'm going to show you how to subscribe to the MAD database, that's Motorist Against Detection database, and show you how to upload it into your TomTom -tom GPS device. That way you can convert your uh, GPS uh, device into a red light camera, speed camera, speed trap warning system. So the first thing you do is you come to phantomalert.com, okay? And on the menu section here, where it says Speed Trap Database, just go down and find the section that says Download Camera Speed Location. Click on that one, that will take you to the download page. Okay, this is the download page. You have the option of a free trial, you have an option of six month subscription, you have an option of one year subscription, or you have a lifetime subscription offer. Now, the six month is $99.99. The one year is $24.99 and a lifetime is $99.99. And you'll be surprised that uh, how many people are subscribing for the lifetime. This is a bargain, $99 one time fee and you will get access to the database for life. Unlimited updates. I'm going to go try out the subscription for six months. So I'm going to come over here and buy the six, six months uh, subscription. Now with the six month subscription, uh, I'll get unlimited downloads, tech support, email notification whenever uh, new uh, locations are uh, reported, guaranteed accuracy, I, I am allowed to add or delete uh, locations or report or verify locations and I can use it on mul multiple devices. So this sounds like a bargain. For $9.99 you can't go wrong. So I'll go ahead and buy $9.99 subscription. So I'll just go ahead and pay for this. So what happens after this is, you know, when you make your purchase, an email will be sent to your email box with detailed instructions for each uh, product. Okay, after you make your purchase, check your uh, email account. In your inbox, you should receive an email, a nice email saying thank you for subscribing to our database. And then we'll ask you, which kind of product do you have? Do you have a Garmin, do you have a Magellan, or do you have a TomTom? -Tom? Since I have a TomTom, -Tom, I'm going to select, I want the detailed instructions on how to upload the TomTom -Tom device. So when I click on this, it will take me back to phantomalert.com to a special page where it will give me the link I need where the file exists on our website that is compatible with the TomTom. -Tom. So when you click on here, where it says download the TomTom -Tom compatible GPS data file. So when you uh, check your email account, you should get an email that says thank you for purchasing uh, our Phantom Alert Red Light and Speed uh, Trap Premium Edition database. And then here it will tell you, it will ask you to select your device. Is it a Garmin, is it a Magellan, or is it a TomTom? -Tom? So mine is a TomTom, -Tom, so I'm going to click on that link, and that should take me back to our website, to a dedicated page where you will have access to download the TomTom -Tom compatible GPS data file. And according to the instructions, if you click here, a window will pop up right here. Now, this is the file. It's a waypoints.ov2 and then you want to save it to disk. So select save to disk and then click OK and then here it's going to ask you where do you want to save it? And I want to save it on my desktop and then I want to also create a custom folder for it. So create a new folder and this is going to be called my my POI okay and then open this Now I want to save that file into my POI folder, but I'm going to rename it to Phantom Alert POI. Okay, so it's in my desktop under the folder my POI. The file name is Phantom Alert POI. Okay, that's where I'm going to save it. Now next, what I'm going to do is I'm ready to import the database into my TomTom, -tom, okay? Okay, then I'm gonna take my TomTom, -tom, okay? And put it on the docking station, and then connect the docking station to my computer using the USB cord that's provided. And then once the computer and the TomTom -tom are talking, it's gonna ask you, do you want to connect to the computer? I'm gonna say yes. So the computer and the TomTom -tom are talking, a window will pop up, it says TomTom -tom G Drive. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the inside hard drive of the TomTom. -tom. So th this is the inner working where all the files are. So I'm going to open it up. Okay. Now that I have the G drive here, I'm going to look for a file called 
North American 2G. Okay, so North American 2G. There it is, North American 2GB. Now this holds the file that has the map for the North America. So I'm going to open this, and I'll see a whole bunch of uh, files in here. Now the idea is you want to bring in the, the, the database file into this folder, the North American 2GB folder. So next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to go find my file that is on my desktop. So go to your desktop. Okay, and on your desktop, look for my POI folder. Remember, I saved it on my desktop under my POI folder. Open that, and then there's the file. There's the Phantom Alert POI. Okay, now all you have to do is click once and then drag and drop the file into the North America 2GB folder of your TomTom. And then if you look for the file, there it is, the Phantom Alert POI. Okay? Now, I have successfully moved the database and put it into my TomTom. Now, the next thing is to go and find it on my TomTom -tom and set the preferences. Okay? Then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take my TomTom. -tom, remove it from the docking station give it a minute to uh, activate okay and then uh, when you get this message the legal uh, notice just agree and then when you have the map showing just click anywhere on the map to get the menu on the menu you want to select the change preference change preference click on that and then go over one uh, page and then here where it says manage POIs that's what you want to do select the manage POI okay and then select the uh, choice that says warn when near POI warn when near POI select that and then you want to go find the the file that you just imported into your TomTom -tom. there it is the phantom alert POI select that and then here, you'll have a choice to tell TomTom -tom as to when to alert you when you're approaching those locations. I prefer to have 900 yards of warning. So I'm going to put in 900 yards, say OK. So the next thing is, what type of warning would you like to get? I want to type in my kind of warning. So I want to have a, display, a message displayed for me. So type in your own warning. I want to select that. Okay, and what should be the warning? The warning should be, hmm, ambush, alert, ambush ahead. So I'm going to type in alert. and say OK. Warn only if POI is on route? No, I don't want it to warn me only when I have a route. I want to, you know, sometimes I don't put in a route, so I might be driving with the TomTom -tom on, so I want to be warned whenever. So, I'm done. Done. OK. Now, we're going to go take out the TomTom -tom and try it in real life, drive around Washington DC and see if it will locate and warn us of all known red light cameras, speed cameras and speed traps.